What's up, world of YouTube? This is Chris, and this, of course, is my channel, Barnum 11970, and I'm here to help you continue to think for yourself, to see things in different perspectives, and give you what the media, governments, and education won't, and that's alternative perspectives. Uh, this video, I want to uh, thank DJ Grooveline for, so quick shout out to him for this, because uh, I love when people come up with certain comments and it makes me think about things and inspires me to make a video. So a couple of back and forths we were doing on time and perception made me think about this. And I wanted to bring this to you guys so you can have your own thought process. This video, obviously, like the title says, it's about how easily you're being controlled. Now, I've made several videos recently. And if you know anything about um, synchronism... Things are not coincidences. They happen for a reason. That's why you'll see um, things that you did at one point will come into play later on in life and how things are not accidents. Since everything is based on your own personal perception, you process what information that you have, you go from there, and you create your environment. This is all about quantum mechanics, quantum, quantum science, quantum physics. I highly recommend you start checking into it. It's actually quite fascinating. But they've discovered that you and your emotions do have control of the quote-unquote physical world. Because the physical world is not what you think it is. It's all light and electricity. It's just that you don't see it, so you take advantage of something like this, one of my organ pyramids. You take advantage of that solid. It just means that there are light molecules in here that are so tightly condensed through magnetism that your condensed light, you know, your atoms cannot fit through it. But it's, you can control your environment. Believing it or not is irrelevant. If you don't want to take the time to study it, I can't help you understand it. If you want to use everything based on emotion, you're going to be one of the people that is always going to be easily influenced. And if you see how that works, how your emotions can control your environment, it changes your DNA. It changes whether it relax or contracts or stretches. I'm sorry, either relax or stretches based on your emotions. So your DNA is what is basically the molecules of what the universe is created from and your emotions, they've been proven to actually change how the DNA reacts. So if you want to look into people like Greg Braden, G-R-E-G-G-B-R-A-D-E-N, and people like that that get into this stuff, they'll talk in about it in depths that I never could. So I'm just giving the basics so you can get a general idea, not feel intimidated by too much information right away to overwhelm you and you give up. That's the purpose of my videos. A lot of people say, oh, I keep it basic. There's a reason for that. You can't go to school on your first day and learn physics. You first have to learn your ABCs. So there are stages. I'm a beginning stage for a lot of people. When you think about programming, and you think about everything as your own personal experience, your own perception. In other words, I can hold this tuning fork up, which, by the way, is 432 hertz. You may want to look into that. But I could hold up this turn tuning fork, and in different angles, you're going to see different things, different light patterns, different structure, whatever. And people can actually make their own perceptions of what they see here, their own feelings about it. Some people will look at this and say, wow, 432 hertz, what's that? Let me check into it. Another person will say, oh, why is this idiot holding up a tuning fork? It's just perception. So with that being said, how you're being controlled is through your emotion, through showing you images that are scary. There is a reason why the tell of vision and some people say it's television. Nobody goes around and says, oh, hi, I'm going to turn on the television. Everybody says television. So that's why I say it. It's all about phonetics. Don't read into it deeper than it is. I keep things flat out there. It's not the read into what I have to say. I'm point blank. People that watch my channel know that. But when you're talking about the television and programming and these crisis actors, they're making what looks like news, making it look like events to make you believe in your own perception that what you are seeing is real. You don't see through your eyes. 
as much as the way you'd like to think so. A lot of what you see and manifest is through your heart, through your brain. Your eyes are just the tool to get that image of light into your brain. It's your brain that processes things, and each person's brain is differently. But to be programmed, you have to get people to think in a certain direction. So if you have constant news that says death and destruction, terrorists are out to kill you, this man got his head cut off, this person got shot, this woman was raped, this child was kidnapped. Now, I'm not saying every news article is fake. Not by any means. I mean, my father died in a fire back in 2012, and the news covered it. It wasn't a fake story. So not everything is fake. I'm talking about the ones that they harp on, the ones that get worldwide national attention. And you notice the job of news in mainstream is not to give alternative viewpoints, is not to ask questions that make people think. It's about saying, this is what we're reporting, this is what happened, this is what you're supposed to believe in. And there's a reason why probably 95% of the news is about fear. And what's not fear, they're trying to make you think about celebrities and make you not feel good about yourself. Because they're always pointing out, oh, look at these beautiful people over here. And look at these very famous people here. And look at these athletes. Aren't they so well chiseled and cut? And aren't these supermodels so beautiful? In other words, they're conditioning you to feel bad about yourself. They're conditioning you to be scared. Because then you are easily influenced. And then when you allow a group of people to get together, it's almost like they become one entity. We have our own force fields like the earth does. We have our own little field that comes from our heart. We have our north and south pole, our head and our feet, and they create a torrent around us. It's a magnetic field, just like what's around the ozone layer that protects the earth. And you could tell how this feels by if you stand close to somebody face to face, you will get this feeling of being uncomfortable. That feeling is basically like two magnets repelling off each other. In other words, your energy torrent, your magnetic field is getting too close to somebody else's and they're repelling. You just can't see it, so you don't realize it's there. And it's manufactured by the heart. And the heart is the most powerfully energetic substance in your body. It is more powerful than your brain. And your brain is not just some piece of meat. It's a supercomputer. It's electrically charged. That's why you have nerve endings going throughout your body, sending impulses. When you're hearing this, you're just hearing it through your ear that registers it as a vibration. Your brain takes that vibration and turns it into a language that you can understand. Just like a computer with its ones and zeros. It identifies what that signal is and adjusts it to understand the meaning behind it. So this voice that's coming out of my mouth and it's coming out of through your speakers is nothing more than energy vibrating. And your brain is, percept is perceiving those electrical waves, creating your physical world, your physical environment, even though there is no such thing. And those that say it's crazy just are too afraid to look into modern science and see things for what they are. That's why we are light beings. And the people that are in the know, the very smart people out there, know this, and they know how to manipulate people. That's why, like this whole Ferguson event, they don't talk about the other person that gets shot. Not every single person that gets gunned down by the police gets their own, you know, television programming series. They're focusing on one particular person. There were two people that were killed there. You don't see them really harping on the other person very much. Like I said, so far in that last video, I said, name the person that was shot, the guy with the butter knife. Not one person has mentioned it so far. It's all about steering you in a direction. So even the awoken people, the ones that say they're in the know, you see these videos like that um, That guy, what's his name? I have it written down. Sergeant Major Dan Page. And the video that they made back in 2012. People are believing it. They're getting scared because they've been programmed. Tell a lie long enough, it becomes the truth. 
And they want you emotionally involved. They don't want you to separate. They don't want you to think for yourself. They want you to follow the herd. That's why you have things like the ice, the ice challenge, the ice water challenge. Get people to be followers. Monkey see, monkey do. And people still don't grasp that. And I'm not here to try and insult people. I'm here to try and awaken people. You have no idea how powerful you are as an individual. Just imagine the power of a group. And why do you think the television is dedicated to harping on 24 hours worth of depressing news or things that make you depressed because you're seeing these beautiful people that are making it out there and becoming famous and wealthy and they're getting everything that you want. Makes you feel bad. Makes you feel you're not worthy. Makes you want to kill yourself. Makes you want to feel bad. Makes you want to not speak the truth. But look at me. If you've been following my channel since I first started in 2010, I started in 2010 doing little cartoons where I was getting 7 to 14 views a video for six months. I started talking about silver. Then I started learning about the manipulation of silver. Then I started learning the manipulation of government. Then I started watching the Alex Joneses of the world and getting into the fear porn and being this psychic mess, this angry this psychological mess, and this angry, bitter person, this paranoid person. So if you've been following me from since my old channel, you'll see the ascension. You lose the fear. You are not easily controlled. They want to keep you in that lower vibration. Because they know the 90% of the people will never even know what that is, and they'll automatically dismiss it without researching it. The only people you heard are yourself. If you rise above that fear, it's like having a, a different signal on a radio station. If they're saying, well, there's bad news on this radio station, and you switch to this channel where that reception's not going through, you can't hear it. It doesn't affect you. That's how simple it is. And they don't want you to know that because... They program you to think, well, if something's too good to be true, it usually is. They keep programming you and you don't see it. And I'm here to show you that your individual perception creates your own reality, your own perception of reality, because there is no such thing as reality. And there are people who profit off of your ignorance, out of the general public's ignorance. Keep them entertained. Keep them distracted. Keep them in fear. It'll make them sad, depressed, angry, lazy, bitter, and always needing somebody else to help them instead of helping themselves and understand they have the power to do everything. You are Dorothy. You had the power to go home all along. That's the whole hidden message behind the Wizard of Oz. Follow the golden path. You need courage. You need brains and you need heart to face the man behind the curtain. Because if, if she went straight to Oz in the beginning of the movie and the good witch, whatever her name was, said, oh, you have the power to go home right now. She wouldn't believe her. She had to experience things. And that's what even my whole process was all about. And having to go through all these different stages because I was angry. I was depressed. I was paranoid. I was full of fear. And I was getting hated on all the time. And I kept getting defensive. Until one day I woke up and learned that all that negativity, all that stuff is nothing more than a learning lesson of me traveling down my yellow brick road. To my own em Emerald City. Where I realized I had the power to go home all along. I just had to experience all this negativity to know that's not what I wanted. And believe that I have the strength and the power and the ability to do it. Why do you think I'm still here? Why do you think all of a sudden, and I, I'm even to this day, I'm still shocked at this. My last couple of weeks of videos have been nothing but positive. I think I've blocked a total of one person. The responses, even some of the videos I talked about, I'm like, oh, when I make this, I'm going to, there was one, the illuminating vil, um, video that I made just the other day. I actually, after I posted it, I actually for a split second had a second doubt and I said, maybe I shouldn't have posted that. Maybe people aren't ready for that. But then I trusted my own instinct, and guess what? The response has been pretty damn good. Pleasantly surprising. I want to continue that. That you guys are the reason why I want to do this. And why I want to show you through action, not just through words. Because I'm still here. And I'm going to keep being here. And I've learned, like, the trolls, the haters, the people that were trying to hurt me and injure me, and the ones that I used to be defensive of and want to start fights with, now I see it for the learning lesson it was, and now it's no longer necessary. I don't need them anymore. They've actually helped me to understand more about myself, whether they knew it or not. What you do is a choice, including doing nothing. 
If you want to be depressed, that is your choice. If you want to not be depressed, that is also your choice. They condition you to think there is no alternative. Now, of course, there are always exceptions to every rule, and some people are so far programmed, there's nothing that you could do or say for them to actually get out of their perception. But that's their choice still. The media, the governments, the elite, the people in control know this. Because let me tell you something, like my last video talking about um, that sergeant guy. If you don't think the elite, the powers that be, don't know what they're doing, then you're not getting it. Because think of it for a second. If that guy was really trying to help us and expose the truth, and that information was supposed to be against what the elite are doing, you think he'd be alive to this day? You think he'd be pretending or posing as, as to be a cop that was caught on CNN live? And you could see many a video about it in Ferguson. That's why I don't. I question people like Lindsey Williams, the person that says, oh, he's the friend of the elite. Meanwhile, he's supposed to be a pastor. He's supposed to be a person of God. And he's actually associating with known Satanists. He said this on several occasions. You don't think they're using this guy because people trust him? Oh, look at that pastor. Look at that old man. He's trying to help us. We should listen to what he says. They're steering you down a cliff. Do you want to wait until you are the next one to be pushed over to realize, oh, crap, this is not good? Well, it's too late at that point. Nothing in life is etched in stone. Because even if it is, you can just chisel the stone away. But they want you to think, oh, etched in stone, can't change it. You can change anything you want. You just have to choose to. Fear is a choice. I used to be that way. People that have been on my channel can attest to these things. I was paranoid. I was angry. I wanted to get into fights with people. Rise above. Or they'll control you forever. And they're going to lead you into the very destiny you're so afraid of. That's why you only need one shepherd to control hundreds of sheep. Because they all follow one another. Don't be a follower. Question things. Rise above. Think of it. Don't just see something that somebody puts out there and say, oh, well, I'm seeing it. It must be real. Well, isn't that the job of a magician is to make you think what you're looking at is what's really happening? You don't think they attempt that stuff in the media? Because if they didn't, there would be no such thing as the word crisis actor. My message will get out to some. And I ask you guys always to share it because I need your help with this because I want people to see the truth. Fear is a choice and there's a reason why the media bombards you with it. Because then you feel that pit in your stomach. When you're in love and you're happy, you feel it here. You feel it up here. When you're depressed and scared and full of fear, what do you do? You grab your stomach. It's not a coincidence. It's the lower vibration. It keeps you grounded instead of rising above. It's time to hit that other level if you're ready for it. If you're not ready, you know, like I said, it's a choice. If you're experiencing this life, you've chosen to come here to experience what it's like to be pain in pain and depressed and all this stuff. Well, then if that's your choice, then go with it. People have to understand their lives are like being a leaf on a stream. And you have a little ant on that leaf traveling along that stream. If you just flow with the way the water takes you, you'll be fine and you'll end up going where you're supposed to go. But if you try and fight against that current, you're still going to end up where that river takes you. You're just going to be pretty damn tired and you could possibly drown trying to fight it. You just got to go with the flow. You have to trust yourself and stop giving in to the fear. The only reason a boogeyman is coming to get you is because they've told you that. And you decided to believe it because you saw it on a television. And there are people getting paid lots of money to trick you. That's your choice. Picture yourself 
as a director of a movie. As the director, you can make the decision of wherever you want that movie to go. You've written the script. You've purchased the rights. You own that movie. You decided to direct it. What if somebody comes along and says, here, here's the script I want you to put in that movie. Do you have to say, oh, well, I, he took the time to make it. I, I guess I have to put this death scene into my movie. No, you don't. You could say, I thank you for your experience. I thank you for your option. I choose to not use that in my movie. This is a love story. It's going to have a happy ending. I don't need your, your death scene in my movie. But thank you, though, for giving me that option. Because you can also say, oh, death scene? I didn't think about that. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Let's see that script. Wow, that's great. I think I'll put that in my movie. That's how your life is. And they know it. And that's why on a one-on-one -on -one basis, it's very easy to talk logic. But when you have a group, it's a whole nother species. And that's why the television is geared in every house and placed in every house in America and all around the world. It's because they're programming you from your own home and you turn on the TV and allow it to happen. The world is not what you think it is. It's, it's, it's sad. It's kind of messed up to think that. You know, you think I like the fact of all the stuff that I've learned and thinking, wow, this is the way the world really is. It's not what we've been told. It's actually even closer to the Matrix than you'd like to believe. I mean, without the robot stuff. It's mind-blowing, and it takes a while to get used to. But it's also beautiful when you get to those higher levels. Rising above, ascension. They say it all the time in, a, in the Bible. It's all about ascension. Rising above. Why do you think... Hell is supposed to be underground. They're trying to tell you the lower part of you. That's hell. Staying grounded, not rising above, not floating in the air. They're trying to tell you become ethereal, eternal. Higher vibration, a higher form of light. Is there any wonder why the people that are stressed out so much love the color black, love the color red, love the color orange? You think, oh, that's just, I just like that color. Well, guess what? Those are lower vibrational light spectrums. Learn about the chakras. The people who are into the pinks and the purples and the fuchsias and the whites, they tend to like those colors the most, tend to be more of a higher efficiency, higher vibration. And it's always funny. I never understood that because one of my most favorite colors, for some reason, was always purple, blue and purple. Well, that's around... The throat and the head chakras, the uh, third eye. Red, black, those are your base and root chakras, lower vibrations. There's no accidents in life. So if you want to keep being controlled, you're not going to watch this video anyway. For those who have watched this far and it's resonated with you and you get that feeling, you're not just saying, oh, I believe it. You say, wow, it feels right. Stop believing. If you base things on belief, you are easily controlled. Because, like, for example, when I talk about the religious stuff, there are people who will be so set in their belief, they don't want to hear anything else, and you're wrong and they're right. That's not how the life and works, the, the world works. It's all about infinity. In an infinite universe, there are unlimited choices. Why do people think only one possibility can happen in any event? It's because you choose to be that way, because they've programmed us. So, you know, like they say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Well, it's no longer shame on me. To the elite out there, to the NSA that are watching this video, to the trolls that are getting paid to try and hide my message, to the corporations that are robbing throughout the world, to the governments who are lying to us all the time, to the media with their fake propaganda, to the religious people out there who are misleading their fellow man, shame on you. But you no longer affect me. You no longer have control over me. Because I choose to no longer listen to your lie. If people want to call me crazy for that, then I would question the very people that say that. Because I guarantee you, especially on YouTube, the people that say that, you go to their channel and you won't learn a damn thing there. Unless you like learning about hate. And making fun of people.
Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget to have your trolls spayed or neutered. This is Barnon11970 saying, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, go to my Facebook page. I have a Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Barnon11970. Make sure you type that in because there is some troll and hater that made a duplicate page with my picture on it. Um, if you just type in Barnon11970, look for the one that says community, not the one that says uh, entertainer because that one's not me. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments, like, share. And give somebody a hug. And you know what? Take a deep breath and smile. Look in the mirror. That's the universe. It's right in here. Peace.